previously on The Bill. I just get in the car. Maybe we should have told Tony what was going on. This is it, Tony. Paul, will you marry me? Where the hell is Tony? completely out of hand, Derek. The amount of money we've poured into this operation and what have we got to show for it? Nothing. We're supposed to be rounding up immigrants, none found. Instead, we're going to shoot out in the woods involving one of our men who we're supposed to be keeping tabs on. We don't know the full details yet, sir. It's what the tabloids will make of it. If those trucks weren't full of immigrants, what were they full of? Your hopes and my career aspirations up in flames, that's what. Guns. Seen better corpses. Where was the backup? I don't know, sir. It went with the truck, not the man. Right, we've got to keep the press away from this. It makes us look like a bunch of idiots. Was it just one shot, Tony? He wasn't gonna miss, sir. Why don't you take us through it, Tony? Kearns was stood here. Made me walk away from him. As far as the tree here, heard the shot. Froze. I thought he'd missed. I was waiting for the second shot. If it didn't come, I'd turn round and... There he was. What statement do you think he was trying to make doing it in front of you? I think he was trying to prove he wasn't a murderer, sir. He was driving the lorry that Saint Agudi was in. Mikhail Yuzhna has already confessed to the murder. Well, he's not the only one to make a confession, is he, sir? Redmond Blad, didn't he? Alex thought it better not to tell him. He was told to kill me! OK, Tony. That was my safety you were gambling with. And he... the punchline. This has to be some kind of joke. It's no joke. I'm asking you to marry me. It's a bit sudden, isn't it? You're turning me down. What is this? Guilt? My level two surveillance course has come through. Once this is over, it's over. I transfer to SO10. You mean you're leaving Sun Hill? Well, I've got no reason to stay. But you'd stay for me. Hmm. It wasn't that long ago you was accusing me of spying on you. Holding a torch and getting my fingers burnt. We've got something here. Yeah, a job to do. Don't forget it. Dave, you're confusing me. I'm in a permanent state of confusion. That's what you do to me. Don't you think it's here? Now. The excitement, the stress. I mean, you 
getting off on the danger. I know what I feel. Are you sure this isn't a holiday romance? I mean, we'll both go back to work, reality will set in. I'll remember how much I hate you. And you'll remember you've got a career path to follow. You'll go off to SO10 and forget about me. Oh, it won't be like that. I promise. Yeah, Reg needs some help in the kitchen. Doing all right? Right, we now know what the truck was carrying. Money, foreign currency. What, you mean Barisha was laundering as well? Yes, customs are implicated too. What do you mean implicated? An officer named Logan, we think he's the guy at the hotel. Either Barisha's got to him or he's simply corrupt. There was a customs checkpoint on the way into London. Well, that explains why Barisha got away with it for so long. Well, this is getting far too involved for us. What do you want to do? Call a meeting, see what evidence we've got, go from there. Did you get that? Yeah, yeah. A man walking his dog came between him and his coat. Augusta? He and yet he talked. He talked to me. It's reasonable to assume he talked to them. I thought you said you dealt with it. Kearns should have called. We managed to fool immigration. The police are not a matter. We have to assume they know everything. You stay here. You wait. I should follow the money. Get Dave to delay him. Shogate Hotel, can I help you? Mr. Barisha? Call for me. No, no, it's, um, uh, excuse me a minute, yeah? Flight's delayed. How long? Long enough for Duncan to get his fat ass in the car. Now, can I have a flight number? Uh-huh. Yeah? Yeah, we can arrange a pick-up. I'm in a hurry now. Excuse me. Um, will your friend be staying for dinner? Huh? I haven't got time for this! Have I, both? I know what she needs. I don't know why you bother with Western women. The girls from the East are far more accommodating. Still, women are the least of your troubles. We are dealing with it. Good. Is everything in place? You don't need to worry about anything. That is your friend Steve Logan, isn't it? There's no way Steve Logan's corrupt. You've got to admit, Bobby doesn't look good. The best info we get from customs is through him. Only last month we pulled a lorry with 30 illegals on it on his say-so. His or Barisha's? The guy even runs a charity. Kids Against Drugs. Bob, he's on the tape. He was at the checkpoint. He waved me on. <laughs> Mickey, target is at Andorra Securities Limited on the London Road. Looks like he's dropping off the money. Thanks, Mickey. Duncan's following Barisha. Looks like he's about to run. OK, so we've got to move fast. What about Alex? Alex is talking to customs. We can't wait for him. We've got Barisha for GBH and conspiracy to defraud. Anything else? Prostitution. But nothing on human trafficking, right? Redmond's statement. Look, if we rely on Redmond, we might as well pack up now and go home. He'd fold under a restaurant questionnaire. OK, what else? Terry Kearns received calls from Barisha on the night we dumped the young girl's body. Nah, hearsay evidence. Well, not if we can prove the calls were made. Well, that's fine if Kearns was still alive and cooperating, but it's easy for Barisha to dispute the content. What happens when he finds out Kearns is dead? That's why we have to move fast. He knows we're on to him. It's only a matter of time. Well, while Duncan's keeping tabs on Barisha, we should pull Logan. And coordinate raids on the known flats where the illegals are held. OK, good idea. We gather everything we can before we move on the man himself. OK, ladies and gentlemen, we're going in now and we're going in hard.
room service. Stephen Logan, I'm arresting you for conspiracy to defraud. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention one question, something which you later rely on in court. Mickey, receiving. Go ahead, Duncan. Eyeball target, he's on his mobile. Hey, it looks like bad news to me. Let's have a word, Mickey. Duncan, it's the Air Oscar 5-2 here. Don't lose him. We're getting support to you. So just keep us informed of his movements. Over. What do you think I'm doing, you wazzock? Received, sir. Well, thanks for staying with us, Mr Logan. Shame his next residence won't be as luxurious. OK, straight through to the front door. Thank you. Come on. Thank you. Is that the lot? Yes, go. So what are we supposed to do now? Carry on as though nothing had happened. Until we've got Barisha under arrest. And what if Barisha comes back and finds Logan gone? That's when we nick him. Right, then, you heard the man. Back to work, everybody. Slave driver. Tony. I hear you had a narrow escape. These things happen when you work undercover. You heard, then? That you're leaving us. Yeah. What, I don't want a party? I wasn't going to throw you one. Well, I know you. Dave, there's a barrel that needs changing. I'll catch you later, yeah? See you, Dave. Tony. It's all right, Paul. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm glad someone is. What's he done now? He's asked me to marry him. You what? We've... We've been under a lot of pressure here. But marriage? Well, you know what it's like. We've been thrown together. We got talking. It happened. It. You know. Yeah. I didn't expect this. Is it serious? I think so. Have you accepted? I don't trust him. I mean, I don't trust that he's asked me for the right reasons. Do you want me to have a word with him? Would you? Craig, illegals. What? Well, all of them? Afraid so. Oh, we am going to have sales, mate. We'll get a van Some here as soon as we can. Last one took two days. All right, uh, what we have to do is keep the families together. Now, who's the interpreter? Oi, Petri. Right, first family, please. Craig, when you're ready. Are you still here? <sighs> Polly's told me. What are you doing, mate? Marriage. It's what she wants. But well, it's not what you want, is it? Do you love her? Yeah, I love her. But Dave, we're talking marriage. You've only just got divorced. You're the expert on relationships now, are you? That must be why you're so successful at them. But where's Mrs. Stamptone? Oh, sorry, sorry, you're not married, are you? Girlfriend then? No, no, silly me, you haven't got one. So what do you know? I know you're making a mistake. I love her, Tone. I love her. I love. I love the idea of it. I love the idea of just being with one person, of, of, of kids and a family. And she... She wants it. But she wants it more than you, Dave. Admit it. You love her. But you're not in love with her. Barisha's my informant. That's all you need to know. That's all I'm saying. So what were you doing at the checkpoint today? I'm a customs officer. I was looking for contraband. Did you find any? Come on. You know the score. I give him a little slack, he gives me information. Who gives you information? Barisha. And how do you define a bit of slack? It's standard practice. Is it? We can attribute at least three deaths to Barisha's network. Nothing to do with me. Countless illegals. I don't know anything about that. He's been running brothels, credit fraud, and on top of all that, I bet his VAT accounts are in a right mess. Is that what you call slack? No comment. What about the money? You do know about that. Part of an ongoing investigation I can't discuss with you. Nice try. But we've got you on camera. Face it, Mr. Logan, you've got no choice but to cooperate. You say I'm corrupt. My governors say I'm an effective officer. They'll say you've got the sack. They'll say you're facing criminal prosecution. Looks like Barisha's gonna fly the coop. Question is, where? Police, immigration and ourselves are supposed to work together. But you were working for Barisha. He's my snout. You operate under the same rules as we do. If Barisha's your informant, Where's your handler? My kid's sister died of a drugs overdose. Yeah. We read your file. You even set up a charity in her name. I know Barisha won't touch drugs. 
And that's your excuse? That's my thing. That's what I want to stop. Berisha feeds off people's misery. He takes a bad situation, makes it worse, and turns it into a profit for himself. Let's just suppose you're right for a moment. If those people are so much better off where they come from, why are they so desperate to come here? You can't judge Easterners by Western standards. So you admit you know about Berisha's human trafficking operation? I admit nothing and you can't prove anything. Hang on. What's happening? Ah, Mr. White Van Man come to pick up his tickets for Mallorca. Is that in the Balearic? Hang on a minute. They look like they know each other. They're coming out of the shop. Mickey, he's getting in the van with him. He's abandoned his car. He's getting into the white van. Looks like they're going to jump ship. Oh, what? What's going on, Dan? Come on! Dan. Oh, so go on, Derek, what have we got? Spoken to Logan's boss. Apparently, Barisha is a registered informant. So where was his handler? I still think it's a bluff. There's no way that Customs would sanction turning a blind eye to the level of Barisha's activities. Logan's been economical with the truth. So what have we got on him? Video evidence alone might not be enough. Terrific. We need information about any accounts that Logan may have. We need proof of payments for services rendered. No. Barisha's way too canny for that. He won't make any large payments that could be traced. No, but a private donation to a charity might not be noticed. Yeah, if we could prove Barisha's made large payments to Logan's charity, we've got him. Come in. Sir, bad news. We've just heard from Duncan. He's lost Barisha. Well, what about the backup? It must have been overlooked. What do you mean, overlooked? Who was dealing with it? You were. OK, get on to the hotel, let them know he's on the loose. Sir? Keep up the pressure on Logan. Something's got to give. I knew as soon as I slept with her it was the wrong thing to do, but... But I couldn't stop myself. Why didn't you tell her this, Dave? Because I can't. You know what Polly's like. She's... She's easy to talk to. Good listener, sympathetic. But I know what I've done to her and it just makes me feel like crap. It's her you should be saying this to, Dave, not me. My mum and dad used to argue all the time. Same as all mums and dads. No, nothing, nothing serious, just bickering. So what's your point? Well, the point was is that most of the time they were happy. They tolerated each other. Well, is that what you want? Tolerance? My mum once told me that she was in love with another man. It was a bloke at work and all they ever did was hold hands. Mum and dad weren't married at the time, but they were going out, so it was, it was kind of unfaithful, even though they didn't do anything. The point was that she said she had a choice. The man who she held hands with, he was, he was going places. He had, he had money, nice car, the looks, he had it all. Dad was... was solid, reliable, dependable, not bad-looking, and... and she loved him. He just didn't press her buttons in the same way as a holding hands guy. Last year, Mum and Dad celebrated their Ruby wedding anniversary. Now, that's not too bad, is it? Couldn't we all do with some of that? I don't know, Dave. I'll settle for that, but you... I'm not sure you could. Tell me, you better leave. Duncan's lost sight of Barisha and he could be headed back here. Everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine, isn't it, Tone? Yeah. I, I haven't spoken to Paul yet, and I know I'm making an assumption, but uh, best man, what do you think? I don't know, Dave. I think you should wait for an answer first. Well? Tony! If it was me, Paul, I'd turn him down. That is you, isn't it? For the benefit of the tape, Mr Logan has nodded. And that is Berisha. That is my informant, Koreshnik Berisha. Would you like to explain the money in the bag? 
You can see on the tape yourself. Did the money come from a lorry with the registration number N23RPF? You tell me. OK, so how did the money come into your possession? I'm not at liberty to say. From the checkpoint? It's part of an ongoing operation. I'm not at liberty to say. Who heads this operation of yours? I'm not at liberty to say. What do you know about Barish's trafficking operation? No comment. Did you know Terry Kearns? Not at liberty to say. Anya Petrova? Let me refresh your memory. Anya Petrova was one of Barisha's call girls. And I suppose you have footage of that? Oh, yeah. We've got footage of you enjoying yourself. What would your wife make of that? No comment. Interview terminated at 15.25. Giving up so easily? No. Just thought you might need time to think. This charity of yours, Kids Against Drugs, doing all right, is it? OK. It's just that for a fledgling charity, it seems to be doing very well. How would you know? Well, there's the usual number of donations from publicans and Masonic lodges. 60 quid here, 150 quid. But an unusual number of very large, anonymous donations. Any idea who's making them? Still no comment. Like I said, give you time to think. Shergate Hotel. Call room 34. I'd hate to disturb my guest unannounced. He's left. What? Room 34, your guest. Obviously got tired of waiting for you. Keys for the other two rooms now. Problem? Mr Maynard, could you show my associate to the storage room? Those televisions, time never moved. Follow me. Mrs. Maynard, perhaps we could talk figures. What kind of figures? Settlement figures. We take what you owe me, and we find what you can pay. My colleague, room 34, did he leave a message? No. No, I don't think so. Perhaps we could, uh... Hmm? What are you looking for? Maybe I can help. Where's he going? Moving house. Hey, Reg, where's Polly? Barisha? Donna. Two smoke alarms in one room. Health and safety. <sighs> Shit! God, we've been made. Jim, you ever seen Polly, have you? No, why? <laughs> Maynard! Maynard, where are you? Nobody move! Where are the cameras? What cameras? Don't lie to me! I... I don't know what you're talking about. Mr Maynard, do you think I'm a fool? Put the cleaver down. All right. All right. You, tear the tablecloth into strips. Into strips! Make rope to tie! You, arm yourself. What with? Oh, yeah.
Show me the cameras or I'll pull the trigger. Where are the cameras? Yes, Don't be yes, he does. does have a gun. I'm looking Just at it Just tell him where the camera it is. It looks like a Beretta, but I cannot be sure. Where are the cameras? Well, I told you, I don't know what you're talking about. There's <laughs> more than the one. I'm not a fool. In the smoke alarm. Just one. Are you sure? It won't tear. Don't piss the man off, Reg. He's got a gun. Move. And you. Come here. Try that. Krishnik, you're hurting me. Krishnik, please. Don't even think it. Quiet. Look, look, let her go. Let her go. You've got a gun. We can see that. We can also see that Laughing Boy doesn't have a sense of humour, so we'll cooperate. Any more? The lamp. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Well, that's useless. There's only one ARV in division. Major incident in Paddington. What do they think this is? Uncle, we've lost sound. What? So what are you? NCS? Don't flatter yourself. You're not immigration. Police. Who put you onto me? Redmond? The driver, Tony, he said he was in immigration. What does it matter? We've got enough evidence on you to put you away for a very long time. So now you're a very brave man. The facade drops. Dave. Is it still Dave? Or is it just your cover? What of this place, huh? All this for me. I'm impressed. Krishnik, please. You really did make me feel for you. All this time I thought of you as a lady, when really you were a pig all along. Hurry up with the tablecloth. It's a lot more difficult than it looks. You, police officer as well, you would explain the cuisine. I remember my cooking. And you too, I assume you are not husband and wife. How touching. Any minute now, this place is going to be swarming with armed police. I'm prepared to do what has to be done. What about Laughing Boy? Does he know what he's getting into? Leave me out of it. He's a strong, silent type. You haven't got a chance. What I have got is four of you. Matt, sir. Who's in there? Rich, Jim, Dave and Polly. One gunman. Barisha. Yeah, Barisha, but he's got a lummox with him, waving a meat cleaver around. Any demands been made? Not yet. Lines of communication? Waiting for you, sir. We'll set up base in the Arbo flat. Nobody gets past without my say, so, and I mean nobody. Right. Pile the furniture. Make barricades. You, help him! Just switch the lights off. In the bar, get spirits. What do you want? Brandy? Rum? All of it. As long as it burns. What do you hope to achieve here? I mean, you must have some kind of game plan. It's simple. Either I live here alive, or we all go out in body bags. Aren't you going to answer it? It's not my telephone. Believe me. It's for you. This all right? Single malt. 
Soak the place. Oil, spirits, anything you can find. Drink. After a drink, I always like a cigarette. Smoke? Leave him alone, you sick bastard. A lady should always watch her mouth. You, wine waiter, come with me. Put your head down. Yeah. Who am I speaking to? My name is Chief Inspector Derek Conway. We have met. It seems to me everyone I meet these days is a police officer. I thought you'd be interested to know that John Redmond is making a full recovery. What news of my good friend Terry Kearns? I was supposed to hear from him, but... Uh... He's dead. He took his own life. That's too bad. Sir, SO19 are here. Sorry, sir, you can't come in. What do you mean I can't come in? It's Mr. Conway's orders. He's a negotiator. He calls the shots. Tell your men outside not to do anything foolish. I might forget how sensitive the trigger is. A reg here will have served his last chateau neuf de pape. They're not going to move back, Kreshnik. You know that, and so do I. But they won't shoot. Not without a command. My say so. That's a comfort. I have to say I admire your courage. You talking to me? Flogging dodgy tellers is one thing, but putting yourself in the firing line, that takes guts. What are you talking about? You know the score. You've seen the pictures of Waco. If we all go up, you go up with us. Barish is facing a long term. He's got nothing to lose. But you, you're willing to die just on the principle of the thing. I ain't got no principles. What do you think's going to happen here? Barish is going to light a bonfire and we're it. He's clever. He's figuring a way to get us out of here. <laughs> us? You sure that's not him? Have you taken a look outside? Uh, careful, we might get your head blown off. What are you trying to do? Scare me? Seems a pretty natural thing to be. I'm scared. Yeah, and you ain't the only one. We're all scared. Shut it. A lot of you. The only one who isn't is Barisha. He's quite happy to die. A man of principle, such as yourself. I only came here to shift some tellies for him. Let me get one thing straight. I'm not a common kidnapper. None of this situation was my doing. No, I really but you must know the choices are limited. I'm not afraid to die. A clean shot would kill you, all right? That's one option. One I hope that we can rule out. But some of these guys are just out of sharpshooter college. A bullet in the spine might not kill you, but you would spend the rest of your life in a wheelchair. It's a persuasive argument, but I have one of my own. You see, I don't pretend to be a sharpshooter, but I can't miss at this range. What are the chances of helicopter? Impossible. We're too near the city airport. So? Sort it out. I'll get back to you, see what I can do. He wants a helicopter. He knows the game. He knows he's not going to get one. He's stalling for time just as much as we are. Superintendent Chandler's here, sir. Wants to come up. That's all I need. Uh, you a waiter. 
Make me some coffee. I'd do it, Reg, only I'm a bit tied up. <laughs> Nobody makes jokes at my expense. The only reason I don't shoot you now is the fact that you're a bargaining tool for me. You buy me time. But be assured, when the moment arrives, you'll be the first. I'm flattered. Krishnik, please. You don't have to do this. Don't waste your breath, Paul. The chef is right. He's an animal. He's going on instinct. We were all pretending, but so was he. Nice suits, flash car. He's still just a thug with a gun. Do you know who I answered to? <laughs> I don't see you as the religious type. The people I freelance for, the ones higher than myself, for them, failure is not an option. If your police marksmen don't kill me, they will. Still not answering. OK. No offence, Derek, and I know you've done the course, but what time do the dedicated negotiating team get here? 20 minutes away. Right, we sit tight till then. With respect, sir, that's my decision. In situations like this, I outrank you. They might have a helicopter for you. Let them wait. Why don't you give yourself up? Logan did. You have Logan. Coffee! Right, negotiations over. Derek, send them in. Sorry to lose you, Dave. Thank you, sir. You sure you're making the right decision? Well, it's the right decision for me. I've thought long and hard about it, and I want a chance to go after the real criminals, people like Berisha. People who, if you put them away, it makes a difference, and I want to make a difference. That's so turned a lucky day, have you? Congratulations. Thank you, sir. I've come to see my sister. Five or six, sir. This is uh, Sergeant McAllister. She's a friend of mine. Debbie, pleased to meet you. I believe you've met. Yeah. Richard, they're sending me back. It's true. No, they can't. You are a material witness. This is what I've been told. The CPS have decided to concentrate on Barisha's bigger offences. They don't need Nicola's evidence. You knew this? I didn't know they were going to send her back. That wasn't the recommendation. Do they not realise Barisha still has friends back home? It's OK. I'll get out again. I'll go to France. I'll be OK. You should have shot Barisha. Sister. And you knew this, didn't you? I don't make the decisions, Petrie, you know that. You're lying. You can still stop this. Hey, hey, not, hey, not in here. Not here. Not here. 
she flies back home tomorrow. Various men are waiting for her. It's a certain death. There's no reason to believe she's in any danger. Oh. Come on, Patrick. Another time. No, no. <laughs> Sorry about that. Where were we? You could have used your influence, couldn't you? What for? She's a prostitute. You don't need her evidence. Ooh, my round. No, thanks. I'm joking. Well, I think it was a spur of the moment sort of thing. So what did you say? Well, we were in the middle of a difficult situation at the time. It was kind of hard to give an answer. Although we haven't spoken about it since. I think he's ignoring the fact he ever asked the question. Well, maybe he's waiting for an answer. Paul. Sarge. Five minutes and I'll be back. Today's my last day. I know. I came to say goodbye. Not to ask for an answer. I already know your answer. Probably knew you'd turn me down before I asked the question. I'm supposed to just let you walk out of my life forever. But it's someone else for you, Paul. Someone better than me. That's not how I feel. You don't trust me, Paul, and I, I don't trust myself. Part of me wishes we were back at that hotel. <laughs> Maybe you would have been better off with Debbie McAllister. Huh? <laughs> Come on, no way. I meant working with her. <laughs> you did a fantastic job. For a while I believed it, for a while I envied Dave Maynard. Yeah, right. Polly Maynard wore the trousers in that relationship. Right, Balax. Oh, I don't know. But Risha could see you were a catch. Why can't you? Look, I never meant for this to happen. I wouldn't want to hurt you for the world. Come on, don't. Don't do that. I can't help it. It wouldn't work out. You know that, don't you? We can still be friends, can't we? I love you, Dave Quinnan. I love you too. Duncan, have you seen Patreet? I thought he was with you and the others. Celebratory drink. No, he's gone off somewhere. Sarge. It's a shame about his sister, eh? Yeah. Why do I do this? Why do I let myself get hurt like this? We all do, Paul. We, we do, because one day it'll be worth the risk. Well, I think we're sneaking off without saying goodbye. I wouldn't do that. It's all right, mate. I won't cry. No, but I might. Have you seen Polly? Yeah. She's good. On good form. Is it all over between you? We're friends. We'll always be friends. Whereas, we're mates. Well, you know where you are with mates, don't you? Yeah. You remember that time we went up the West End and we sank Mike Jarvis with those water pistols? Remember that? <laughs> we nearly got slung out over that one, man. And when I ripped that bride's dress and we ended up taking her and her old man to the church in the back of the van. You remember that? Yeah. I wonder if that marriage lasted. She was a right old bat axe, wasn't she? I nearly had your Brussels on a plate. And when you, George and Vicky came to visit me in hospital, met Jenny, stuffed everything up, made a mess of our life. George, I wonder where he is now. People move on. Always the way in this job. Thought I was going to be here forever. I thought you would too. Not into working blokes, but I'll miss you. Won't miss your moaning. Moan? Moany Tony. <laughs> We've seen some changes, haven't we? Mm. Oh well. 
That's it. What are you doing out here? Smoking. I've been looking for you. I was going to give you a lift to the airport. What was the point now? Greshnik, how are they treating you? Far too well. In my country, we know how to beat prisoners. Berisha! Where are you going? Where are you going? Don't give me the gun! Drop 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 the gun! Sunhill Police, can I help you? I'm sorry. Polly? Ambulance for train. I'm arresting Rhea you for the murder of Kreshnit Barisha. You do not have to say yeah, anything Rhea for the home your defense yeah. if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. He's dead. Cancel my last. Make that the FME to certify life extinct. Right, get him in. No, I don't want you to go. You need to know how I feel. It can't end like this. And that, I know this isn't going to make any sense, but the only reason I didn't say yes was because I, I would have said yes. You're going nowhere, Dave. You've got to make a statement. I wanted you to know that I wanted to. It'll be all right. I didn't want you to go off thinking that I turned you down. Dave, I can't be your friend. What? I can't pretend everything's all right when it isn't. It's over, Bob. Polly. Is there anything I can do? The bill. Kathy's working undercover at a pole dancing bar and I get to keep an eye on her. If you screw up or cross me again, I'll take you down, Des. Got that? Now the bottom line is, darling, I can get a waitress anywhere. So either you dance or you walk. You should win service. 